I like Aston Martin personally, but they delayed the launch of its first BEV. Lucid released their version of dog mode, it's called Creature Comfort Mode. Volkswagen in China has just entered an agreement with Xpeng for fast joint development of two electric models, which will reduce development time from three years to two years. It's pretty impressive how fast Chinese companies are. That's only possible in China. Everywhere else, things take longer than expected, always, almost. The AI world and the robot world is getting really interesting with multiple companies coming out with their own robots. It's a space to follow. I think it's going to be a huge space and I think Tesla is going to be big in that space. And I don't think there's going to be just one humanoid robot company that will completely obliterate all other companies. I think Tesla is going to be huge, but I think there will be other companies. But the market is going to be so gigantic that there will be space for many different companies. And we are already seeing multiple different kinds of uh, humanoid sort of robots that can do some things, not many things, but uh, you can certainly see how a few years from now, certainly a decade from now, these are going to be useful in real world scenarios in factories. Omar just published a 45 minute no interventions drive, but he says uh, that FSD drives better than auto wipers work. He says, it boggles my mind that this FSD beta build can do a 45 minute drive in the rain with zero interventions, yet I have to wipe the windshield <laughs> manually myself. That is funny. That is very funny. But I think, of course, if Tesla focuses resources on the windshield wiper issue, it would get it done. But it's much more important to solve FSD, of course. But FSD drives through rain, which we know from Elon earlier. He said that rain was an issue for FSD 12, but... As we can see here, at least in this 45 minute drive in California, there are no interventions. So that's a positive sign, but windshield wipers. Yeah, you can, it's hard to see it for that windshield right now. <laughs> the wipers are not working, but the car is driving itself anyway. Omar had a lot of patience not turning. Okay, he finally did it. <laughs> he was fed up with it. Yeah, I, I I do have an issue with the windshield wipers. They have gotten quite a bit better compared to before, though. Maybe a year ago. Oof, oof, oof. They were not that good at all. Now it just it just went from being terrible to just, eh, not that good. But it's usually when I drive it, it's you can if you really want to, you can drive without touching the windshield wiper controls and just you can just leave it on auto but you will have, you will not have the most pleasant driving experience. So I usually just uh, turn it on manually often because the controls now, the way it works, if I press the windshield wiper button, controls pop up on the screen and then I can just click left or right with uh, the scrolling wheel and I can manually adjust the speed without touching the screen at all. So Tesla has fixed that issue for me. I really like that. It's still a two-step process. You need to press two buttons, basically. It's not perfect, but it's it works for me. I'm not complaining anymore. But <laughs> yeah, the auto feature, look at this. It's not that good, sadly. But Tesla will take care of it. I'm just not sure how long it's going to take. But it just boggles my mind that we're complaining about the windshield wipers and yet the car is just driving itself this whole time without any issues, no interventions. Amazing. All right, guys. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you in tomorrow's episode.